Well, let's take a look now at the latest COVID infection rates for the southeast. And as usual, these are the rates per 100,000 of the population, and they're a week on week comparison. And the England average and high are at the top of the screen for reference. Well, the highest rate in our region is in Dartford at 41.7 per 100,000 people. Next comes Eastbourne at 31.8, and third is Swale at 30. The lowest rate here in the southeast and now in the country is Folkestone and high that 2.7 per 100,000 people. Next comes Rother at 6.2 and third in our region is Hastings at 7.6. Well, for more Now, a woman from Kent is planning to swim the channel this summer to raise awareness of bowel cancer after she lost her 34-year-old husband to the disease. But Rosalind South's story becomes even more poignant when you learn that in the week her husband, Alex, died, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Well, bowel cancer is the fourth most common cancer in the UK and it's the cause of one death every 30 minutes. Symptoms include bloating, stomach pain and a change in your bowel habits. Our health correspondent, Mark Norman, has tonight's special report, which does contain flashing images. Now, when Lady Diana Spencer was courting Prince Charles, you may well remember her with her iconic Metro car as she drove to work in a nursery. But did you know she also often rode a bike to work? And now that bicycle is up for auction in East Sussex later this month. And as Chrissy Reedy reports, the bike deemed unfit for a princess is already attracting much interest. Now, a photographer from St Leonard's who usually travels the world for National Geographic but lost all his international assignments when the pandemic hit, instead reframed his images all around his home in Sussex. And so successful were Rolf Smith's shots that his pictures have been snapped up by the New York Times. Shots of the southeast. Right, let's get a check now on the weather with Sarah Thornton. And Sarah, it is a bit chilly at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, but the weather pictures make the best pictures, that's for sure. Although today, uh, yet, maybe next week. Or maybe next week. Maybe next Sarah, week. thank you very much. Now, as you know, from Monday, we can all get our hair cut again, and many are desperate to get an early appointment. We are looking for your pictures and videos of before and after your first post-lockdown haircut. Please email. We wait for our haircuts. I'll be back with your late update at 10.25. Have a very good evening. Bye-bye for now.